Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, dialing 911 is where emergency response starts. House Bill 911 is probably one of the most important bills our committee and this legislative body will take up. We've worked on this bill for two and a half years. We've held six formal public hearings across the state, dozens of stakeholder meetings, and countless working group meetings with members of staff and every stakeholder that's involved in this. This legislation, for the first time since 1990, increases the 911 surcharge fee by making it a uniform surcharge on all monthly phone, call, phone plans and prepaid plans. The running of our 911 centers, which are open seven days a week and 24 hours a day with very expensive equipment, and with the advent of next generation technologies for texting, Skyping, video, et cetera, has become a very expensive responsibility for our county 911 centers. Providing this service is a core responsibility of our local governments. Mr. Speaker, this legislation brings financial stability and greater financial accountability to our county 911 center operations and will indeed greatly enhance the public safety of residents across the Commonwealth. First of all, I'd like to thank Chairman Sonato and his staff for their work on this bill and also my staff and the various 911 stakeholders, particularly the County Commissioners Association, APCO, Nina, and Chairman Velakovic over in the Senate and Chairman Costa and for their hard work in making sure that this piece of, of legislation is done in time. Mr. Speaker, this legislation must be on the governor's desk before the 30th to be signed into law or we will lose our authority to collect this surcharge. I would encourage all members to vote in favor of House Bill 911 to show their commitment to the safety and well-being of their constituency in their time of need during an emergency. And I'd like to thank all the members for their very positive comments. I would ask for a yes vote. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.